Hi guys, it's Shell Sunbury Housewives. Welcome back to another video. If you're new to our channel, thank you so much for stopping by. Hit the subscribe button to see future videos. So what do I got for you today? Another Tumblr tutorial. This one is super cute. It is a, another peekaboo. So let's go ahead and get started. So I am starting out with a 20 ounce straight and um, I'm not even gonna base paint it, but I did prep it. So I am adding um, just a little bit of epoxy on it. You can base paint it if you want, if you want your glitter a little bit more vibrant, but I chose not to. So I'm adding just a little bit of epoxy on it and I'm gonna spread that all the way around so that it's evenly distributed. I do go ahead and torch the tumbler so that I could pop any bubbles so that my glitter will lay down very nicely. Once I get that done, I do let it cool just a smidge while I'm preparing. And then I use the Glitter Guy Mermaid Tails. This is a gorgeous tealish uh, glitter. And um, I sprinkle this over the entire tumbler. Once that's done, I do tap off any excess glitter and then clean up my mess and pour it all back into the bottle bottle, <laughs> so that I, um, I don't waste any of it. Glitter is a hot commodity around my craft room. So anyway, then I'm going to go ahead and um, lay down my tumbler and just use my parchment paper to um, roll it around and make sure that... I have that glitter laid down nicely and then I let that dry and then I do put it on my turner and add a coat of epoxy and let that cure for 12 hours. Once that's done, I had cut out these uh, beehive um, decals using um, Oracle 631 removable vinyl and I'm just placing them um, randomly around the tumbler.
making sure it's all down. Then I take it outside and give it a good coat of this Ocean Mist Rust-Oleum spray paint. And once that's done and dry, I remove the decals. And um, I do this carefully so that I do not scratch the paint. I know you're probably thinking, why a green tumbler? Because this is not your typical gold or yellow and black bee tumbler, but I don't know. I just am obsessed with the non-traditional bee colors, and I thought this would be really pretty, and I think the end result is absolutely stunning. So just keep watching and let me know what you think. So once I get all of the decals removed, I place it back on my tumbler for another coat of epoxy and let that cure for 12 hours. Once that's done, I remove it and um, instead of doing an outline on each of the honeycombs or whatever those are called, I think they're honeycombs, um, I decided to do something different. I had found this at the Dollar Tree and had to do something with it. And so I wish I had found more of these, but I only found one. These are... Um, rub-on transfers and I knew this would just be gorgeous on a tumbler. So I'm cutting out elements of them and rubbing them down onto this tumbler. Starting out with my finger of course, um, yeah that wasn't working so I think I grabbed some tweezers and start using the end of the tweezers to rub them down. These transfers on this brown paper worked so much better than the typical Dollar Tree um, rub-on transfers that they have. Um, I'm obsessed with these brown transfers. I hope I can find more um, in the future because I will definitely be getting those.
Here's the only part I wish I would have left out. I don't know what you think. You let me know. But I added the small honeycomb rub-on transfer to the bottom. And I mean, it's all right. But I probably could have left that off. But it's not a huge thing. But then um, they had um, the words. And I just cut that out and stuck that right at the bottom. And then this was ready to um, get its final coat of epoxy so I added that on my turner and epoxied it one last time ignore my mess I have been so busy with tumblers I have not had a chance to really even clean up so this got one final coat and then this was done let me know what you think I think this is absolutely stunning it's so different and unique and I just think it's just beautiful focus there we go <laughs> but I just, I'm obsessed with it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a great big thumbs up. This will be available on the website. The link will be in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.